we're gonna start working on moving the back legs of the dog right and left you're just standing in front of your dog and patiently waiting when they're gonna move the back leg themselves you don't give any cue words any command just always reward them when they do move their rear legs this is great for their fitness for their athletic uh, abilities for any obedience training for health for a lot of different reasons for form warming up your dog before complicated uh, walks let's say through the forest or mountains it's always helpful make sure you're not talking to your dog you're not giving any command just rewarding for moving their legs with a treat or whatever you uh, prefer and choose As soon as the dog moved the back rear legs, front still on the position on platform, you're treating your dog and marking. As an example, I use the word good. This is just my marking word. Most of the cases, then one side will be better, another mm. one will be worse. Good. Good. Oh, Sophie! Yay! Good job! Nice! Very good! With time, you can make it more complicated exercise. As an example, you can offer for them to hold something in their mouth, which you practice exactly the same shaping technique, but on the same time, they're standing on a platform and using their back rear legs to work left or right. That command is very helpful because in the future, they can hold anything on their mouth and uh, the movement of the body will not be so high disturbance. As you can see, Papi just came to see the interest and there was a holding envelope. He had no interest to take it to the mouth. I did not reward him because we still need them to make that effort themselves. We're not pushing them. We just ask them and waiting patiently for the command to be done. 